How's that there? And I don't do anything. So yeah, I know, I know. But but um, uh, trying to th- th- what's what's funny happened in Russia? Um, the one thing I took Jeff Munson over there, you know, oh. and uh, oh. uh, first time we're walking around, and we're in Red Square, we're everywhere, and I mean he his neck is moving like he's at a tennis match. I mean, it's hot girl. It was in heaven. Or a hot girl. There's a hot girl. And he's, he, he's like, you know, and it, it, it's mind boggling. And he, all of a sudden he just stops and screams. He goes, ah, like that. And the way he goes, am I being punked? He goes, is someone punking me? Is there a camera? <laughs> he goes, there can't be this many good looking girls. And, and, it, and then, then we met with, with some of the, um, very wealthy guys in Russia and, and the stars of Russia, and they get the, the 1% of the 1%. I mean, their, their people are, are uh, their girlfriends who are all between 20 and 24 were, you know, beautiful models and stuff like that, you know, but uh, I only went there the, the, the two times once I went, the first time I went, I went because I told my wife, they wouldn't kill me because Munson was fighting a month later. We were just going for the press conference. He wouldn't <laughs> kill me in the press conference. So I go over and uh, I get picked up in a big black car with a bent nose guy. No offense, Chris. Bent nose guy <laughs> <laughs> that that looks looks like a mobster and doesn't speak English. And I get in the back and he starts driving me. And we're driving into the middle of nowhere and we we go into this like industrial area i'm scared i mean i think i mean i'm telling myself for a smart guy you sure got yourself you know, <laughs> in trouble here and so i'm looking around if i jump where am i gonna how where can i run to and then i'm like i can't run <laughs> first off i can only run about 10 steps <laughs> that's not gonna get out of the range of an m16 so i'm probably i shouldn't run well, as we're going down an alley, uh, a big metal fence opens up and two guys with machine guns step out. I'm not feeling good. I mean, I really think something's wrong. And then uh, we turn in there and it's Vadim's hideaway, like a $17 million hideaway. It's got his mansion. He's got a, a, a guest house that has four bedrooms. He's got a, a house for the guards. I mean, this thing is amazing. Is is he, he saw a, a Turkish bath place in Turkey and brought it over and had it input. I mean, he's got everything. So I stayed there and that was, that went okay. But we <laughs> had the big TV coming for Munson and uh, uh, he's nowhere to be found. They're yelling at me. There's no, you know, we got TV, everyone here. You're supposed to do the face off with Fedor, nowhere to be found. Munson's off making a, a side thousand bucks um, doing a seminar <laughs> and he's getting paid 50 grand for the fight, but he's got to go get his thousand bucks, you know? So mm-hmm. there, there is film video somewhere of me facing off with Fedor and I'm pretty sure Fedor was scared. I could see it in his <laughs> eye. <laughs> Makes sense. But, you know, but yeah, we had to do the whole fist like this. And, you know, I gave him my meanest look. <laughs> and, but that was, that was the troubles we always had with Munson. He never knew where he was. He's got a fight. He's got a fight scheduled for big money. And three weeks before he, he tried to hide and fight somewhere else. It, I think it, that's it, what, that's what happened with you, Miguel. I'm sorry. That's what happened with Miguel at uh, one of his fights in Russia. Mon- Munson did the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I, 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 Munson was on the short list to fight Fedor for me. Um, and I, I, I went with Linland actually. It was kind of like a company choice. I think I might, I, I think Munson, well, I know Munson was agreed to a lot less money. And I think I would have opted for that. Uh, but some people thought Munson was boring. So, uh, we went with Linland and stuff. Well, oh, Miguel, he he didn't go show up for his airplane ticket when yeah. I went to Russia with you. Yeah. yeah, there was one, but that wasn't for he wasn't <laughs> fighting Fedor. He was fighting Magomedov, yeah. 
And yeah, uh, yeah I, I mean, I, I found a replacement in Finland, but you know, so that's, I, that's I, what I, you ran you, into with him, and and you know, we we knew it. You know, you knew it. You couldn't trust him. He was making twenty five hundred dollars when I when I got him the fight in Russia. I got him a three fight deal for fifty thousand dollars a fight, and and then he then he burned me and and uh, wouldn't wouldn't pay me my percentage and stuff from hmm. it. And he was mad at me because he had taken a fight in between those three that he wasn't allowed to. And they gave him a loss and he thought they robbed him. And he was mad because I wouldn't call the commission in Poland or whatever and argue his loss for the fight he took against, against me that yeah. he wasn't supposed to do. So, so, and so, so I'm, guessing said, be on, I'm guessing he'd be on the asshole list, right? Yeah, double double asshole. He, yeah, he he should he should he should stay he should he stay in Russia. I mean I I I mean it's amazing that what you you can take a guy that's down and out fighting for twenty five hundred dollars, you make him one hundred and fifty thousand in a year, and they shit on you. It's like mm. really, dude. It, it's just you know. So, but it, it, it is, might it might is. be a regular. On that that list, you know, we, we have Josh Barnett oh, yeah. and Ken Pavia. Those are obvious regulars as well. I think Monson might have to uh, stay there. 